I was very green. I didn't have any theatre background at all. No one I knew had ever been involved in this world, in the world of the arts and everything. And so I sort of assumed I couldn't be in it. I don't come from a wealthy background. I don't come from a place where I could finance myself to go through the training. Young people who want to have training have to take other work and other job. I think there's a huge strain on young people. I did a 13-hour shift every Saturday at a nursing agency. If you weren't born into it or didn't know about it, how do you get in? I just was willing to do anything to do this thing that I loved. <laughs> Peter Cox said, founded Mount View out of an experience he had during the army. In 1945, he was denied access to the officers' drama club, so he started his own drama club for the lesser ranks and then brought that back to London, whereby he established a theatre club in his own house. He wanted to have a theatre club, a um, um, place where people could come throughout the community and work on scenes and plays and songs and it was very much a community organisation which then grew and grew and grew and grew. The Judy Dench Fund is singularly the most important thing for Mount View at the present time. We need artists from each and every area of our community to tell the stories that reflect contemporary life. We must be training people from every walk of life, from every culture and from every socio-economic background. I think it will help outreach to different communities and people of different backgrounds to give them an opportunity to really come to the forefront and really help further our industry. It's about creating opportunity and it's about creating access. It's investing in the arts for the future. You can concentrate on what you really, really want to concentrate on, which is rolling your sleeves up and learning your craft. It will just break the limitations of what has been potential and what has been possible before, because we've got an array of voices, a diverse range of people, really making the best of the best art. Talent doesn't discriminate. Training needs to be accessible for everyone. This fund at this time is the keystone to the future health of our industry. Thank you for supporting the Judy Dench Fund. It's one of the most rewarding things you'll ever do. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting the Judy Dench Fund. You'll be helping so many young people find their way in the arts and make their life there. And that, after all, was Peter Coxhead's dream. Thank you so much.